In this tutorial, we'll be adding a hero welcome image to our WooCommerce shop. Here we have the image we're going to make, and here's the shop down below. So, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to go to place it to get some images with my products on them. So, if you go to place it, and you go to mock-ups, t-shirts, and if you search for group t-shirt mock-up, you'll see you have, you know, hundreds to choose from, sort of get your shop more welcoming, and uh, I chose this one here, and then you upload your product here, here, and here, design one, two, and three, and then you can change the shirt color here, here, and here and then you download your image once you download it you can open it up in a photo editor and then go ahead and resize it to about it depends how wide you want it on on I'm gonna be using it as a background image and uh, I just went with 1100 to save space and help it load faster you can also when you save it if you save it um, you can also change the quality with a foot. This is paint.net. It's a free program for PCs, but I try and get it down to about uh, below 100 kilobytes so that it loads faster. You can also compress them, and I'll leave a link in the video description. So once you have your image, go ahead and upload it to your site. And then once you have it in your media, go ahead and... I'm going to do it as a background image just in case you want to do some text on there. So I'm going to put a header on there. Even though I'm not going to use the text, uh, you might want to. Oh, wait. Um, I'm actually going, if you put it in the section level, it's going to spread all the way across. And I want it to be contained within my uh, container. So I'm going to use the intersection and remove a column and now I'm going to put the where is it little space saver and now I'm going to insert the image as a background image on the intersection here it is here and since it only takes up the space that the widgets contain you can also set it to a minimum another reason why I use the, uh, the section level instead of the column and then you can set it to like center center or set it to uh, cover but anyway now you got your um, your welcome image I might put a little gradient on there just to I don't know Give it a little something. Not like that, though. You know, something similar to your theme. And this will be ready to go for the first step. Vertical align, middle. So you can put your, your text, your welcome text here. Now the problem that you encounter when you do a uh, uh, any change to your shop page is that it carries throughout if you have pagination for your products. If you have more than one page, this image will be carried throughout. So what you want to do is we want to add a little JavaScript to remove this section on the other pages. So what I'll do is I will I'm going to remove this entire section since it, there's only one thing in it so I click on the section and I'm going to add a class to it an empty class that I made up class that can hide now there's nothing in that class it's just I'm naming it so that my JavaScript can identify this class and then hide it 
on the other pages. So once you add that, we're going to add a widget to the bottom of our shop page, an HTML widget, which if you search HTML, drag it into a section at the bottom, and then we are going to paste this script in the HTML. This just takes the parameter product page from that from your uh, shop page and if the product page is greater than one it will find all of the classes that are labeled class that can hide and hide them. Set the style display to none. I'll leave uh, a link to the code. You could also pause the video and get it here. So go ahead and copy that and paste it from script tag to script tag and then save and now let's look and see how it went alright so you can see we have our welcome image got our products go to page two and we just have more products so uh, you can see that a lot of the nice looking shop tools are one of the biggest tools is place it and that will really help your shop look you know a little bit nicer a little bit more put together you don't necessarily have to have a ton of design capabilities you can still um, you can still get a very nice professional looking shop with just place it and for this tutorial I use the group photo so that you can uh, just kind of show off some of your products without trying to sell them. Reasons to uh, add the hero image is, is that it makes your shop look better, makes your shop unique because other people are just putting their products on there. And it's more than just a constant list of products so people aren't just like mindlessly scrolling. You'll see I also added this this image in the middle with with my products. So you can do that as well and then remove it with the class that can hide that will be uh, propagated through all of these pages and when they scroll back to page one it takes into account that you're still that you're on page one so it should show the uh, the class there that's it for this uh, this tutorial check out the list of resources in the description of the video and if you found this at all helpful feel free to support my channel with a like sub or comment thanks